now we are going to perform the next experiment with the study of synchronous counter design and implement a 4 bit up down counter and mod n that is mod 8 up down counter using ic 74hc191 or 74hc193 and draw the timing diagram so in this we are going to have two parts first part is 4 bit up down counter and second part is a mod 8 up down counter so in firstly we will see the pin configuration of 74191 this is a 16 pin IC now pin number 1 is your data B pin number 15 is data A pin number 9 is data D and pin number 10 is data C these are your 4 bit input data then pin number 2 pin number 3 is QA QB pin number 6 is QC pin number 7 is QD Pin number 4 is enable bar. Enable bar means we have to connect pin number 4 to ground to make this IC work. Pin number 5 is up bar oblique down. So this one pin is used for up counter as well as down counter. So this particular IC will work as a up counter when U is connected to ground and it will work as a down counter when pin number 5 is connected to VCC. Pin number 8 is ground. Pin number 11 is parallel load bar pin number 12 13 is no connection right now pin number 14 is a clock pulse pin number 16 is VCC now this is your diagram of a up counter in the up counter actually this is a uh, the aim of this particular part of the experiment is design and implement a 4 bit synchronous up down counter so this is a synchronous counter IC in the last experiment 7490 oblique 7493 was a asynchronous counter IC in this QA, QB, QC, QD all the flip flops are triggered using same clock so that clock pulse is given at pin number 14 pin number 9, 10, 1 and 15 are input which are not connected Pin number 11 which is parallel load bar connected to VCC, 12, 13 is no connection, 8 is connected to ground. Pin number 4 is connected to ground because it was E bar. Then pin number 5 is connected to ground as we want it as up counter, it is pin number 5 is connected to ground. So it will be active when it is connected to ground, so it will work as a up counter. Now when you connect this QA, QB, QC, QD to the output pins, you will see that the output is going from 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 1, 1, 1, 1. That is it will be a up counter. And similarly if you see the diagram for down counter, that complete diagram is same. Instead of pin number 5 which was connected to ground here, here pin number 5 is connected to VCC. Only that much difference if you do, then this particular IC starts working as a down counter. Okay, and the next part of this part, uh, this uh, experiment is design and implement a mod N that is mod 8 counter using IC 74191. So for mod 8 counter, if you draw the uh, if you draw the K map for a mod 8 counter, you will see that we have put for the eight first cells we have put one. So it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We have put the 1s and rest all in this K map it is 0. This K map is plotted for QD, QC, QB and QA. So using this we have got one octet and the equation for that octet will be Y is equal to QD bar. So once we have got this particular equation, same equation has to be impl implemented over here. You will see that this is your QD and the equation which we got is QD bar. So from QD we have taken a NOT gate which is given QD is given to a NOT gate. Here you will get QD bar and that QD bar is given to pin number 11 which was your parallel load bar. So this parallel load bar at this way per complete circuit will get reset and this particular IC will work as a mod 8 counter. The rest of the connections are same 9, 10, 1, 15 are connected to no connections are given. Pin number 14 is clock pulse. Pin number 5 and 4 is connected to ground. Then pin number 15 is VCC. Pin number 8 is ground. 11 connected to output of NOT gate. Other, all the connections are same. If you do these connections, you will get mod 8 counter. Now pin number 5 will decide whether it will be a up counter or down counter like I have explained you earlier. This counter will go through 8 states mod due to mod 8 from 0 to 7. 